Hi, this is Pastor Mike Bowen from East Lumberton Baptist Church, and welcome to Wednesdays in the Word. Today's scripture I'm going to share with you comes out of 1 Peter chapter 5 in verse 10, where the Bible says, But the God of all grace, who have called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that you have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. You know, back when I was a kid, I loved video games. Back when I was a young kid, I still recall when the Atari first came out, the Atari 2600, and I was so excited. I played Pac-Man and Combat and all those games on the Atari. As a young child, I loved video games. Well, as time moved on, the video games began to evolve into greater things. You had the Intellivision, ColecoVision, and I kept my Atari until the, the one came out called the Nintendo. When the NES came out, the Nintendo, I was so excited, and I got it for Christmas. And my first few games I got were Mario Brothers, and I got Elevator Action, Commando, and a game called Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. But my favorite game on the Nintendo was the original Super Mario Brothers. I loved that game. The game had 32 levels on it. Uh, you had eight worlds. You had four levels per world. And I found out in playing that game that it started off easy, but it got tougher and tougher. World 1-1 one, one was easy. World 1-2 was easy. When I first started playing it, I blew through the first few stages quickly because it was so easy. But I found out as time began to move on in that game, it got harder and harder and harder. And the whole goal in the game is to rescue the princess at the end. Well, it got harder and harder, and I found that as I got to the harder levels, I made more mistakes, and in due time, I, I kept losing my lives, and I kept dying. And on Mario Brothers, if you lose enough lives, at the end, you get those dreaded words that says, Game Over. But when it says Game Over, the good news is, you can always reset the game and start all over again. You know, I got to thinking about that in the Christian journey. Sometimes in life, as life gets harder and harder, as we go through various stages in life and various levels in life, there's times that life can get harder and harder. And the harder it gets, we make more mistakes. We make poor choices. We do bad things. And sometimes it appears that game's over. And we tell ourselves, I've gone too far. I've done too much. And I can't. I can't be changed now. I'm useless now. I'm not worth anything. And the devil convinces you that it's game over. It's done. Lights out. You made a mistake. But the good news is with God, there's a reset button. With God, you can be saved by the grace of God. He'll wipe that past away and you can start all over again. Oh, friends, what a challenge you can learn from a simple video game. You make a lot of mistakes in life, but you can always reset with God and start over. He'll wash your sin away and make you brand new. And again, like in Mario Brothers, the main goal of that game is the rescue the princess. You know, uh, when I first got the game, I'll never forget, when I first got the game, I stayed up all night long trying to capture that princess. Now, those that played the game, Game, the original game, you know how it goes. In the first castle, it says that she's not in that castle. You think you got her, but it says, sorry, but our princess is in another castle. So you go to World 2. Same scenario. You go to the castle, you beat the old Bowser, and again, it tells you our princess is in another castle. And I kept playing and playing and playing until eventually I rescued the princess until she was eventually saved in World 8. So after eight worlds, all night long, I stayed up all night long trying to save that princess. And I got to thinking, if we can get that excited about seeing lost souls get saved, imagine the change we can make in a society. I was more focused on saving a, a cartoon princess that I stayed up all night long trying to save her. And there's folks that are literally dying to go into a place called hell. Let's get serious about getting them saved. Let's get serious about sharing the word of God that they may come to Christ. So as you can tell, even in a video game, you can draw a great point. For the Bible says with God, there's always going to be that reset button. I thank God that we serve a God of a second chance and a third chance and a fourth chance. See, if you messed up, my friends, you can come to God and say, God, restore me, and God will make you over new again. Remember the story in the Bible of the potter's hand? The Bible said the clay got marred in the hands of the potter, and he put it back on the wheel and started all over again. That's the God we serve. So the Word of God says in 1 Peter, there's times we struggle, and there's times we mess up, and times we make mistakes. But thanks be to God, this God we serve, this God of all glory, will reset us and restore us and make us new again. Again and use us in a mighty way. Again, that great verse in the Word of God reminds us, friends, He's the God of all grace. He has called you by His eternal glory through Jesus Christ. After you have suffered for a while, He'll make you perfect. He'll establish you and strengthen you and settle you again. That's the grace of God and the God that we serve. Let's pray. Father God, I thank you again that, Lord, you're a God of second chances. And God, I thank you we can turn to you in our time of need and come to you in our flaws and our mistakes and our mishaps. And God, you'll wash our sin away if we'll confess our sin to you. And God, with you, our lives can be totally remade over again through you. God, I pray for those right now that feel like they've messed up too much, they've gone too far. I pray they'll call on your name, the only name who can save them. And God, I pray you'll redeem them and revive them, for I pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you, and we'll see you. Uh, Next week for our study in Wednesdays in the Word.